Welcome back to another lesson on N2 electrical trade theory. Remember to like and to share these videos. Now in module three, it's all about electrical reticulation or a high voltage distribution network. And this makes up 8% of the national exam paper. A reticulation network includes all conductors and infrastructure, which delivers electricity to consumers. There are four main sections of the network, the generation, the transmission, distribution, and utilization. The different types of power stations, we get coal-fired power station. Coal is burnt and the heat produced is used to boil water. The steam is pressurized and then drives the turbine. The steam is then cooled and turned back into water. For nuclear power stations, the nuclear reactor splits the uranium atoms through a process called fusion. The heat turns water into steam, which then drives the turbine. A gas power station, there is fuel and air mixture, which is burnt inside of the combustion chamber and the turbine converts natural gas into mechanical energy. Photovoltaic power station, which consists of solar cells. The sun's rays are converted directly into electricity by releasing electricity from the sun's photons. For a solar thermal power station, the sun's rays are converted indirectly into electricity through the heating of a tower by the sun tracking mirrors. For a hydroelectric power station, it converts kinetic energy from water into mechanical energy through the turbine. Why are power stations situated far from major load centers? To be near natural resources, to prevent pollution in cities, and to prevent injury to the public. In terms of transmission, the advantages of high voltage transmission. Thinner cables are used, less current is drawn, less pylons are used, and we save on costs with less material. The disadvantages of high voltage transmission, high voltage is dangerous and we need additional transformers. Why is there no neutral conductor in high voltage transmission? If you look at the primary side, which is star connected, it has three lives and a neutral. However, on the secondary side, you'll notice that for delta, there are only three wires, and which make up our three phases. There is no neutral wire. So therefore, a delta connection only has three conductors. Less material means it is lighter and cheaper. For the distribution section, as electricity passes through the transmission lines to the substations where electricity is then stepped down through transformers. From these substations, electricity is distributed to consumers via different feeder circuits. In terms of a feeder circuit, it is an electrical power line that transfers electrical energy from the distribution substation to the distribution transformers. There are four main feeder circuits. We get a radial feeder system, a ring feeder system, a parallel feeder system, and an interconnected feeder system. For the radial feeder system, electricity flows in one direction only from the substation. Here we can see there's one single power line supplying the different loads, which could be our industrial or commercial consumers. The advantages and disadvantages of the radial feeder system. The advantages, it is simple, not too expensive, less cables are used and less maintenance is needed. However, the disadvantages, it's not reliable, it's nearby regions get overloaded and regions far away experience voltage drops. For the ring feeder system, it forms a loop where loads are fed from distribution transformers. They are supplied from both ends. More consumers can be supplied 
and maintenance can be carried out without disruption to the supply network. However, the disadvantages, the costs are high, more cables are needed, and the maintenance costs are higher. For parallel feeders, they are very similar to loop feeder systems in terms of its advantages and disadvantages. For the internet interconnected or mesh feeder system, it is supplied by two or more secondary substations. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for the following new curriculum videos. Thank you.